Okay, it's time for me to try and finish off this war here. Now, at the end of episode uh, two, somehow Seth Commune annexed the entire of Lord's ministry. Now, I've got a couple of theories on how they did this. But at the end of the day, I don't really care. What I do care about is that the front line is now five times larger than it was before. Um, and frankly, neither myself or Seth Commune have enough manpower to man this whole front line. Now, what I don't know is if they have cause in this territory that are of Lloyd's ministry that they just took over. But I do know that they've got cause here. So I am not going to spread my line too thin. Instead, I am going to carry on pushing here for what used to be the cause and try to stop big grass from grabbing any more territory i know the ai is going to force their troops out along this line to attack me and that it's actually going to free me up so i can uh, do some more damage so that is what i'm going to carry on doing so let's go so now we also kill the last remaining units down to the south, so everybody will co be coming up to um, <coughs> resupport. Now I just need to continue making sure that all my troops are on this one front line here, and this is especially good cutting them off. Getting normal territory is not too much of a problem. What I want to get is the victory points. So especially if I ah oh, there's the mutants to the south are going at it. Now here, I don't want these three divisions wasting time here. Instead, it'll be better to keep everybody here. Now, I am still on balanced cohesion, so they will be moving out. I just need to hope that they don't move out too far. Ah, there's concentrated force done. Now, I'm not going to continue on with my land auction right now because it's going to increase my training time by 10% and I still want to uh, pop more troops out so instead I'm going to start on my on my tank research actually no hold on now I don't have a tank research yet let's go for the safer bet and let's what should I choose the difference between motorcycles and trucks here is basically that the motorcycles will give you higher breakthrough at the cost of defense tanks don't have much defense either so let me actually i'm going to go like i normally do i'm going to go with scrap trucks i'm going to do the truck line, truck line just to give uh, my tanks a little bit of extra de extra defense when it comes to that, like that? okay there's another one there let's actually, actually have a look here See, they're over 50%. Now, they are put, you can see here, they are starting to push down here. Mark Red Deer's core, is, Mark, Mark Capital is there. Okay, print radio is done. So now I can carry on weaving around here, and I'm going to do normal radio first. Really want these guys to get uh, north and south red meat here. That would be brilliant okay they're still pushing yes care i'm going carrying that's it. north and south red be that's what i want that will yeah see yes the ai is pushing all the units down here i'm not concerned about them taking this land i'll get it all back once i win there Okay, we have North Phoenix. South Phoenix is now the capital. And I've got that now too. Yes, the war is over. <gasps> okay, now I've got more victory points than um, Big Grass. Now I need to make sure that I grab all my territory and more that I actually started the game with, but they can cut off from. And I want 
Okay, I can get one of them. So I've got South Red Meat. So let's just block them off a little bit there. As we go, that's all I can get for now. Let's submit. Okay, they've obviously taken everything and they want to fight me on some stuff. Okay, now I want to see if I can select all. Let's see if that works. Yes, now. Okay, so if I'm very lucky here, I have just, just want to check the, the other small tile, yes, all right, so, I've taken what used to be my Pioneer Company back, Seth Commune and Lloyd's Ministry, let's confirm and exit that, I took everything, fan-freaking-tastic, now for my focus tree, I still need to take out Big Ross, so, I just want to check here, who has, okay, Michael Woods, you have, Okay, no. I was going to put Michael Woods as a front line here. But I'm very close to starting a new battalion. So I'm going to stick with Johnson over here. Pop him there. Put a offensive line here. And these guys need to train. And I am going to... What's this? Grand Prairie, let's start my war declaration, because I have to do this manually, because I don't have the focus sheet, okay, 220 days, that's how long I've got to prepare, military factories, I've got three extra, I seem to be in the green for everything, let's just add one onto triplanes, let's add an, ooh, no, I know what I need to do, one for scrap bicycles and one for caravans. Let's just get that out because I'm going to be fighting at much longer distances from my capital now. So I need to do that. What decisions do I have? Stimulus and red meat. No, you can go away. I do want to scavenge with some vehicles while I have the chance. And... No, okay, I'm getting more advised before I do that. What else can I do? Okay, cool. Let's get my doctrines. Now, I want to do <coughs> these one, the spirits. So, Spirit of the Academy, the one I've decided to go for is right-hand men, mainly for the, the extra five stability and war support. So that's 20 army experience. Then Spirit of the Army, I am loving this steel before flesh here. My speed does go down by 5%, but my arm and hardness all increase dramatically, so I'm happy with that. Then, I just think, hmm, training time goes up, breakthrough goes up. Ah, I think fight for freedom is a good one. Yeah, I'm going to go for fight for freedom. Just... All around good stuff, nothing uh, really outstanding, but it's a good mixture. Still got 105 left, so let me get new crossroads. No, I'll wait until I actually have power armor for that instead. Let me get my infantry perks up. So these two will bring down my supply use, which is good because I'm working at range. And this one will take up my organization. Organization is always good. So I think that's that last thing to do is I can take that off now and I can get back to my focus tree because I stopped it because I didn't own the land. So I want to get rid of this uh, over here because this actually started giving me negatives. So let me do the huddled masses first. Gallagher sent out his men to take stock of how many settlers have returned to Red Deer. They are going street to street to take count of the rising population. And all my population in three provinces is going to go up by a couple of hundred people. And I do get a 10-day head start on that as well. All right, let's carry on going. Nothing wrong with some more population. Next I want to take is Gallagherville here. 
Just outside of Red Deer, shanty towns have started to pop up to house the overpopulation. Gallagher's new housing policies are ineffective to fill the demand. So-called Gallagher villas are filled with crime and a black market, but they are no longer on the government's pocket. So Long March Home is now modified. I got that in the beginning of Snow Trail. Extra 5% political power gain, minus 2 consumer goods which well, I actually had plus 8, and my war support is going up by 2.5%. So that started. Now I have the decision to take military signing bonus, which I'm definitely going to do for some more manpower, and also I'm going to do new citizen care package. Now I do have a problem, not enough dogs once again, so it is time to alter. I'm going to take one factory off of each of these, I'm going to put there and so I'm going to have three on. I want to get my trial planes up and running as fast as I possibly can. And I think three on dogs should help take care of that quite quickly. Then one last thing I can do to help with my resistance is the highest resistance. Let's check over is this area here in the center. So let me grab my operative, root out resistance, and 55 is the highest. So let's move it around and see where else it goes. No, okay, so that is good enough. But I want to make sure I get some more. So I need to do a couple more upgrades to get my second uh, person. So I am thinking about getting... Hmm. Decryption power will make me decrypt my enemy a bit faster. So let me get radio tele interception group. Let's do that one. Just so I can get a second operative. Also to root out resistance. Probably only thing they're going to be doing. All right. So first level of radio interception group is done. I am recruiting another operative here. So that's fantastic. Let me just actually get this second level as well just to fill that up. Then next focus I'm going for is I'm going to finish off this side of the tree here. So let's get some more infrastructure. So the plight of the residents. Ever since the times of the occupation, the Canadian residents of Red Deer have been used to their labor have been used for their labor time and time again. Once again, we must lean on these residents to rebuild our roads. So Red Deer is going to get one infrastructure. Alex is going to get two infrastructure. That's fantastic. Then I want to make even more money. Now I have currently four trade nodes, which you can see how many you've got here in the decision tree. So let's go to Red Deer first and let's begin a route. I want to keep it inside here, so let me send one to, it's actually to Electric City will actually just make me the most money. So let's do that one first, create route. Okay, then let's have a look at North Red Mead. Two Red Deer, okay, that's done automatically. Uh, let's begin a route from Gray Stable over here, and which would be the highest one. Great Great Falls, okay, and then, which is my last one, I think Lloyd Meester, no, ah, South Rim, okay, looks like I've run out of roots, the amount of uh, trade nodes that you have dictates how many roots you have, but that should give me some nice extra money, local workspace is incompleted, now I keep on getting this low manpower warning, keeps on popping up and down, so I'm just going to help that out just a little bit. One more plant cultivation. Give me an extra 500 manpower and 20% more monthly population in 83 days. So that will hopefully help out that situation. And I know I am really needing more uh, dogs now to bring down my resistance. But look at the territory I own now. I am the biggest beast in the north without a doubt just need to get an army to reflect that and scrap trucks has finished researching now i picked up a 50 percent uh, research boost from my scavengers so i want to use that 
on my to get mobile assault weapon earlier because I want to be able to add motorized fire teams and uh, and motorized demolitions to my vehicle template. So I'm going to use that there. Then we just need to pop these puppies into production. Scrap trucks. Very good. Uh, dogs, the requirement for dogs is still going up. But I think we, when I get the next uh, agent, they'll be able to br bring that down. Okay, so that's the second level of my radio interception group. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. And my operative is also available. So let's see who we get this time. We've got Smooth Talker, which is good. Ninja, both very nice. Hmm, okay, I'm going to go for... Anderson, yeah, I think that's pronounced Augustus. And root out resistance. Now I've got someone in this area, and it's actually he is bringing it down. Where's the resistance going up? The, I think, but let's bring resistance down closer to home so I can get a call. No, maybe not. Okay, let's have a look where this area here of Lord's Ministry that will do nicely bring down resistance. Then next focus. I've got two choices, either the Endless Rose, this is going to take my stability down by 5% and give me 10% more factories, or Stocking the Barracks, which is also going to take down my stability by 5%, but give me 10% more recruitable population, and that is what I was interested in. I've got plenty of land, you can never have enough manpower, so that's going to be my choice to go for there. And it's time to spend more political power so this time i'm going to go for my tank designer because i want the extra soft attack and minus five percent to my production cost and the research speed won't hurt either much either so heavy rapid capacitor weapons are finished so let's put those guys into production there remember i decided i'm going to go for uh, energy weapons on this playthrough now i ch another reason why i chose energy weapons over ballistic is for the higher uh, piercing compared to LMGs which is only at 24 does have slight less defense and breakthrough though but I went for the piercing so I actually want to um, mitigate that by going for frag grenade over flamers now if you're looking at the difference between the two different lines basically the Flame alarm has higher piercing but less breakthrough and less defense. So to try to balance out my choice here, I'm gonna go for frag grenades here so I can just keep my, my guys nice and uh, balanced. And I finished stocking the barracks. Now this is taking another hit to my stability. I'm now down at 33%. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn on the notification for uh, to produce consumer goods. Uh, these four uh, will be, <coughs> excuse me, will also these top three will be able to increase my stability at the cost of something. Focus on the internal sphere um, takes away one uh, point of war support every week. Consumer technology lowers your research speed by ten percent. I always like to go for uh, produce consumer goods because it uses five civilian factories. I have got how many right now? 15. So I am losing a third, but I'm comfortable with that sacrifice for now. So as soon as that hits 50, I'm going to start that. Their next focus is going to be I can choose between either League Farmer Bots or the Cultural Question. Now, this has got a lot of negatives attached to it. So I want to stay away from that and I want to find out what this event behind the terminal screens is all about. No description here. We're just going to start the focus. All right, time to find out what's behind the terminal screens. During the years of the occupation, sorry, during the early years of the occupation, the Anchorage front line started to bog down, turning into a quagmire for the American soldiers. Uncle Sam now starting to feel the pressure resorted to the eggheads for answers. Under the cover of darkness and covert uh, aliases, American engineers were flown into Red Deer. Upon arrival, they were greeted by a musty, outdated mansion that would serve as their new headquarters. 
these engineers would be supplemented by local Canadian engineers officially setting into motion Project Solaris. That sturdy renovated mansion would soon house the latest in military logistics, a new line of supply bots. These robots specially outfitted to survive the harsh conditions of the Anchorage front line in order to replenish the starving troops knee-deep in Alaska's brutal blizzards. However, as the production line kicked on and the mansion erupted in a celebratory party, the midnight sky turned into a skin-scorching inferno. The eyes would be glued to the frosted windows glazing upon the rea radioactive mushroom cloud. As Uncle Sam turned into radioactive dust, the remnants of Project Solaris were faced with the challenges of surviving without the government's tab. Johnson more focused on keeping the communists at bay than some engineers in a decrepit mansion would limit their supply of rations, prioritizing his front line. Rotten and spoiled bread would be the cornerstone of the mansion's dietary plan. However, even that wouldn't last long. Soon the former heads of the program would introduce a lottery system. Each day a random list of employee ID numbers would be selected, granting those lucky few the precious maggot-infested bread. The faint green glow of the lottery terminal would be the only source of light in what the former members now called the Long Winter. While the Long Winter began to thaw, the remains of Project Solaris would emerge as something new, the League of Human Advancement, a group hell-bent on putting the pieces of the world back together one vacuum tube at a time. Their first objective would be finding a useful for their former supply bots, retrofitting them for f farm labor. With the blessing of the newly established 6th Brigade Commission, these farmer bots would turn the surrounding permafrost into fields of razor grain, supplying red deer with the first constant con source of substance, slowly easing the rampant famine conditions in the city. However, not all their projects were altruistic. Deep within the League's mansion, the engineers worked around the clock tirelessly coding and refurbishing ancient vacuum tubes. In the basement, empty jars were filled with an unknown liquid, while terminal monitors were stacking, stacked to the ceiling. The head of the League makes his way to a seemingly central control panel as a lowly figure slots in the final vacuum tube. The stacked wall terminal screens flicker to life, bathing in the room, bathing the room in a pale green hue. Another flip is switched and the control panel screeching the speakers to life while the green light from the screens are formed into audio waves m matching the echoing speakers. However, the pleasant hum is turned into a blood-curdling scream as the audio waves of the screen spike. The monstrosity quickly shuts itself off in a blaze of sparks and broken terminal glass. Okay, something went wrong with that experiment. At least we have the farmer bots. So I'm going to add League of Farmerbots, which will give supply consumption minus 2.5, good. Research speed plus 5%, great. And supply efficiency also plus 2%. Then it's time to see, get this negatives out of the way with the cultural question. Cultural tendon, tension is nothing new to Red Deer. Ever since the Canadian revenge after the nukes, the residents have been looked down upon. Canadians and Arcadians alike have put, been put in second place to the American settlers. The Canadians are traitors and the Arcadians are mongrels to the Yankees. But Sons of Liberty hope to mend the schism. However, for now, the three tiers of society stay in effect. So, oi. Three tier society is going to be added as a national spirit. Division attrition plus five. Non combat out of supply penalties plus ten. Lack of resources penalty plus ten. And Energy cell gain minus 10. Okay, oh, lots of bad things there, which makes me want to increase my motorization priority just so I can make sure my troops are supplied to the best I can. And then I have 54 political power. So, like I said, I was going to do time to produce consumer goods. So, for the next 90 days, I'll be getting half a point of weekly stability so that is 500 more ma uh, manpower for my uh, recruitable population I want to get my construction up so let's do clay working for 10% more construction speed uh, now I can I think it's safe for me to report that I finally got over the worst of the resistance uh, or at least the supply of my dogs to, to fight the resistance 
I think this capped at needing 69 dogs and I'm not it's not going down to 55 so I think I've got that problem sorted out now I also did by manually checking see that I've got three fighters in reserve so I just actually want to set up an air base for them so biplane fighters there we go just like the Caswing, this is I'm going to rename this to the Necrophilian Fighter Wing, and they are going to work on normal operations, so only when they are at 25% strength will they actually do anything. And I think since I'm don't know if there's going to be any uh, fighters from my upcoming enemies, I'm going to put them on logistic strikes. So my Cass will uh, handle close air support against the enemy and they will take out whatever logistics is supplying them to help hopefully help me win faster. And mobile assault weaponry is also done, so that gives me ability to have mobile demo and uh, fire teams in the future. Now, I want to get improvised tanks, I do have the uh, designer, so this is going to go a little bit faster and give me some nice boosts. And now I'm going to be working with proper radios from now on. So let me get my uh, decryption up so I can get a better uh, intel boost when fighting against the enemy. And the cultural question has been asked, which is going to give me a whole bunch of debuffs for a while. I hope I can get rid of that soon, sooner rather than later. Two more focuses to carry on until I get uh, stopped by old wall strength. So let me do the blue star first. Arcanians wave blue stars while being looked down upon by the Yankees. For years, they were left to fight for scraps uh, with even the Canadians, leaving them to their fate. We can no longer ignore them. Their population has been increasing and Alex and Michael Woods has been taking notice. So extra 50 political power and 550 local population in Alex. Says level 3 three of my decryption done let me get level three of my encryption so i can just uh, stop my enemies from uh, getting an intel boost against me and then my war is going to be kicking off in about a month so let me stop training my army so they can uh, get their planning and all that up all the way to maximum and so now I can move on from using dynamite to using fair grenades. So let's start producing those there. Now, for my next bit of research, I'm going to go for training programs to boost my train models up. Purely, I'm looking at this for the 20% more uh, suppression bonus. All right, Blue Star is completed. That's giving me extra. 50 political power. Now what to spend on next? Now I am being very tempted to go for state press for the extra compliance growth speed and or also for no, it's not here. Also for personal community for the extra stability and an extra political power gain. But I'm gonna wait on those instead. I think what's best for me right now is to go for George Blunt. It's going to give me an extra 5% non-core manpower, 5% uh, war support, which will keep me quite high, but most importantly, another minus 5% to my resistance target, which will just help bring this resistance down so I can get some manpower and equipment back. Then last focus before I need to uh, take up big grass for old wall strength is going to be mobilize the 6th Brigade. All soldiers to the front. No one shall be left at home while our way of life is being threatened. The 6th Brigade will gain its strength once again and push back the horde once and for all. The communists took our nation, our world with their nukes. We shall give them our revenge. And I'm going to get two units created in Red Deer. Pilot graphic ciphers is finished. Let me move back on to getting some more research speed with simple circuitry. And here we go. So my justification against uh, Big Ross is ready. Now they were, if you remember, the nation I wanted to take out first, but looks like I'm leaving them for last. Now this is a mainly robotic nation, which means that 
breaking them initially is going to be a bit of a slugfest because I don't have any dedicated breakthrough units. So I am expecting to take heavy losses here. Uh, this 3,500 manpower is probably going to disappear quite quickly as I need to break them. But once you break like a robot nation, then they uh, start to fall back quite quickly. So what I'm doing now is I've got my mouse over this uh, the route and you can see what the AI's plan is for the advancement. So I am fairly happy with that. We're going to be focusing down here in the south and leaving that alone for a while. So I th I'm pretty happy with, with the way they're planning to fight. So let me declare war. And let's get this underway. So let's make it there and go. Okay. That's, as you can see here, not doing anything there. Let's have a look at what we're up against. Okay, we are, if you take the middle of that 20, so we're about even on units. But we have almost, no, we have more than double the factories. But you can see I'm really taking heavy losses because I'm attacking. Mobilizer 6 Brigade is finished and so is my improvised tank. So let's take care of some business. First of all, there are no more focuses I can do right now. So I've got a choice between army training and resistance. I still want more units. Go for army training. Okay, get as many units out as possible. What free ones did I get? Two special forces on that must be the 10 with templates I've already decommissioned. Okay, so you are going to become my normal infantry template. I have enough equipment. And let's just make you... I don't just like having the same names. So you can be the first and you can be the second. No, wrong one that one second specialist unit okay so that's that done attach them there your leader will be Edwards over here I think the name I had for them before everything went pear shaped was the death guard so I'll rename them that uh, death guard battalion let's give you that one and that one. Job done. And I'm going to add them into the fight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. They add them there first and now put them in. Hello. Make sure they say all have the same supply. And make sure they're all on balanced. Research wise, improvised tank is done. Almost there, but let me so let me take tar profile first. That'll be okay. And let's put these bad boys into production. Pop them there. Uh, and do that. Plenty. Awesome. Okay, actually, I'm going to do that. Because that one still needs to be repaired. Now, template. What can I do for a template? Let's have a look here. Organization, very low 20. Okay, that's not good. So I'm not going to be able to use, do anything fancy with uh, f fire teams and forces. Okay, that's 30. That's the minimum, 36.6. Okay, we'll take that. I'm going to rename them to Commonwealth Armored Company. Yes. Uh, we'll change some of Can, how's that? Piercing's very good. Breakthrough is fantastic. 57, 116. Okay, only thing I really don't like here is organization, but I'll try to buy some more now. Okay, so that's there. Now, 
I want to pick a unit to retrain. Okay, they're busy under attack. Who are you guys over here? Fifth Infantry. Yeah. Let's change your template there. To Commonwealth Armoured. I have enough of everything. Yes. Okay. And you are now no longer an infantry company. You are now a armored company. Okay. And, oh, Woods has Winter Specialist. Which means I can give him Improvisation Expert for extra 10% bonus on land. Movement bonus, that is. Okay, that should take an hour for them to resupply, but I'll wait a day or two. And then start recruiting uh, some tank regiments. Now we should really see. Because now I have, actually have a breakthrough unit. Brilliant. Burn <clears throat> Manpower, yeah. Almost cost a thousand so far on this wall. Okay, that should be enough time. First of December, that should be enough. Let the auto say finish. And, okay, you can go away. I'll keep there and train. Red Deer. I was supposed to move, change you to Red Deer. Calgary is no longer my capital. Okay. Okay, so Death Guard went in there. So they're focusing on this southern border. That's fine. Oh, factories. Okay, that means I'm full up again. Let's put back on weapons. There. What am I short here? Dog still. Hmm. Oh. There. No, I'll take that off for now. Let's go. Whoop. Did I get pushed back there, or do they just move forward a lot? What happened? Scavengers Triumph, Production and Construction Technology, good. Hey. Another unit of infantry, good, I like it. Achievable goal, build more military factories, 28. I have 22. I'll get a lot of money if I get this right. So I need to build... Why, you know what, why the hell not? That should be enough. Yeah. They want 28. I've got 23. One damaged. Yeah, that will be a good achievable goal. Yes. Okay, how's my tanks doing? Where's my tank unit gone? Ah, there it is over here. Okay. Now, hopefully, wherever they go, everybody should just crumble and shatter okay they're attacking there that's good i can work with that oh definitely see it so at least one unit go there 18 to 20 and i want 23 they are on 18 percent towards capitulation good good <clears throat> this is all good okay yeah they weren't going to do that originally, but they're starting to push them back. A song from the front. War support's high. Political power. Yes, let me get this. And then I can change to... What's this one called here? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can change from wasteland economy to well-equipped army. Okay, I just need 20, 20 odd more. That will give me extra civilian factories I can use for building stuff. And 1st of January 2278. Ah. Let's give you logistics wizard for 10% less supply consumption. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, now which one is it? What slot is that? Okay, top slot. I'm going to do... Yeah, let's get heating powder. In case I do use it in the, in the future. Can I... Cut these guys off? I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. What have we got here? Scavengers vehicles. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Wasted intelligence. Extra operative slot. Yes. Take you as well. Okay, clay working's done. I'd actually just want to use my uh, makeshift bridges just to help them get across this river. Make sure this attack doesn't fail. There we go. Clay working's done. I've got a boost. Let me go for... Yes, public projects first. I'll use a boost on that so I can get more critical population. A little more political power needed. Okay, so they are pushing them back. Tanks are doing quite well. H is going against Rupert. Okay. Cipher for big grass. Fully deciphered. I next want to have a look at Kingdom of Manitoba. And I am going to use this, yes. Just to get the little extra boosts. I don't want to be at war with these guys forever and a day. Okay, so they're across the river there, that's good. Because this river runs all the way here. And they'll uh, they'll get a defense bonus because of that. So at least here I've covered that, so they can push in that in that way. Chain choir is going, and there's my 150. Well equipped. Whoa, 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 whoa. Every cap. Every cap for the army. They'll give me 15% more. And it won't suffer any negatives. Let's try that one. Okay. Carrying on. Push them back, guys. Okay, I've lost about half my manpower I had available so far. But I'm quite happy. Tar profile's done. It's 2078, so I should hopefully be able to, yes, start working on my next planes. Okay, if there's no unit here, can you do me a favor and take Swan Hills? Okay, there'll be three units I can cut. Ah, damn it. Okay. Uh, I've got this one. Yeah, let them carry on the attack. Maybe they fail, maybe they win. It's okay. What do we have now? Decision. Citizen care package, definitely. Get that resistance down. Okay, are these guys are starting to fall back? I wish I'd seen that sooner. Shop, shop, low, terrace, yes, please. I've got this one. That's an, uh, more factories. So what am I sitting at now? That one's still damaged. I'm at 25 now, so that's good. Let's carry on going. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. It looks like we're going to push these guys out anyways. Yes. Okay. Sir. Crazy attack. In there. Go. I can at least take, circle and take out one unit. Add more troops to the line. And it looks like my planes are flying. Heating powder is done. What's next? 127. Okay. 
really want to start working on my laser weaponry. Not a hell of a big difference there. 59. Let's boost my tanks a bit more first. Hello. Yes. More units. Up to 24 now. Okay, this is going very nicely. Okay, the AI had them mainly pushing in the south first and then doing the, leaving the north for later. Looks like they changed their mind slightly, but it seems to be working, so I'm okay with that. Look here, even on balance, look how far the balance got. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, even on balance, but uh, rigid just... <sighs> Don't use it rigid. And my scavenger's got eaten by death claws. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Okay. You see now these guys are holding here at the river. Yes, I oh know what have I got? Manpower problems. Infantry equipment. Okay, let's go shopping for some infantry equipment. There we go. Always good to check because it would probably be guns. Or oh, sorry, dogs, but it looks like it's guns this time. And look at all my freaking army experience here. Let me get some boost for my tanks. Get their organization up. Yeah, the organization was the lowest. There we go. So they should have about 40 right now. Let's have a look if that actually affects things here. Yep, 40.6. Love when a plan comes together. Red Candle Workshop. Uh, let's get the more stability. Mm. Yep. Lose some money, get some stability. That's okay. Oh, if you guys can knock and circle these guys, that would be brilliant. You can do it, guys. You can do it. You take that one. You just... Hello? Yes, I'll push there. Ooh, NCO's taking out four ways. Oh, would you be a lovely chap and just take out these victory points here? Hello. Let's see if you can take them out. Public projects is done. Let's get some more manpower with crop rotation. Because I'm down to 400. Knew that was going to happen. Okay, no, no, you, you stop. You are woods. Stop. Yeah, just defend. Don't want to lose what I've just gained. Besides, I might be able to get in a nice encirclement here. Ah, oh, there's these tiny little freaking lines here. Quite annoying. But they've taken entrance. Brilliant. Simple circuitry's done. Uh, yes, radio detection. Pull some radars for my spy, for spying on my enemies. Okay, they're pretty well in there. Return radars, 126. Mm. Temptations to go for big wasteland tanks. I won't lie to you. Temptation is there. Which slot is this? Yes, it's my top slot. You know what? No. 115 more breakthrough. 
let's do that one 65 days and then we can relook at getting those other tanks can one of you guys go in there because that might be absolutely wonderful decision time what have we got military signing bonus definitely spending all my money especially as fast as i earn it because that or tuppy will be another victory point and an encirclement more factories this is getting better and better okay let me have a look at what i'm low on tanks and whoa whoa okay okay i've got there anti-tank let's do that there Okay, you guys sit there for a bit. Let's get... Oh. Uh. Ah, enemy engine turned. Okay, let's get you guys to push in there. Now defend there. Now, I don't want to move you off. Hey. Rather... Let's split these guys in half. Oh, lovely. Okay. Oh, no, see, another little line here. What have we got here? Produce consumer goods. Oh, they'll give me more stability. Yes, and close all these ones off again. <laughs> okay, so now. You guys take them out three this will be oh this is like over half the army in one spot Hello. more infantry yes Okay, reservation's gone. What's this now? Consumer good. Didn't I say yes to this? Oh, I must have closed it. Okay. Hey. Okay. Sir. Oh, lovely. Okay, I need to redraw my line now. Sir. Fair enough. There. There. Let's attack, boys. The go to chapter to cut Marshall. Is this another encirclement? No. Nope. Not yet. But they are very weak. See, like I said in the beginning tough to crack but once you crack them it just starts to fall apart for them they've got four units one robot two infantry one special forces on low supply what do I need yep I'm going to have to take the capital I reckon Now let's put you, since we're sure on guns. Look, 60 FA. Nuka Cola plant reopens. Okay, Cult of Liberty has invited all Mon Manitobians to the outskirts of Havari to attend the grand reopening of a Nuka Cola factory. When pressed for why they opened it, the cult official stated, the people want comfort and a place to work, and this factory will provide it. People attending the event were quoted as saying, this Nuka Cola tastes worse than the ones we found outside. Okay, so I get 25,000 bottle caps, thank you very much, and they get 15 political power. Fair enough. But the main story is, 
I am very close to yeah, let's get the monoplanes very close to winning this war 33 manpower I did see it drop to zero there yeah, it just did again so you guys Hello. need to finish this off take that capital take the other last one but I think the capital will be enough Kingdom of Manitoba's be decrypted who's next I know Cult of Liberty likes to cause trouble. Here we go. 98. Come on. Oh, I've got the game paused, no wonder. <coughs> okay, my tanks are attacking, so that's like my only breakthrough units. That's good. 99. Come on, almost there. And done. Yes. Okay, I am victorious. The communists have been defeated. Doesn't get much better than that. Where to put my army now? Okay, let me put woods down here in the south they can re react there and I will put Hello. Uh, Edwards up top there just sure. in case make them train and there we go the war is over the pioneer company now known as the Commonwealth remnants are victorious okay See you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.